MPS1 is also, the long form is mucopolysaccharidosis type 1. It's an inherited disease, rare disease. Um, it is caused by a deficiency in an enzyme called igeronidase. And what the enzyme does is that it breaks down uh, waste products inside the cell called glycosaminoglycans, or we just shorten it to GAGs. Um, when there's a deficiency of this igeronidase enzyme, uh, the GAGs build up in cells all over the body, uh, and the buildup causes all sorts of different symptoms. Uh, the most notable is in the central nervous system. So GAG buildup in neurons or in the brain cells uh, causes the brain cells to not work quite so well. And so after an initial period of maybe some developmental uh, disability, the uh, children who have MPS1 will start to regress and lose their skills. Uh, those are the children who have severe MPS1, which is also called Hurler syndrome. Uh, those children typically have zero uh, hydronidase enzyme uh, levels. Um, there are uh, patients who have some uh, a tiny bit of leftover enzyme, and that's just enough uh, to break down the gags within the brain so that they don't get the neurologic problems. Uh, but there are still a lot of problems all throughout the rest of the body. Um, there's some buildup in the cornea, the eyes, so it can get cloudy. There's buildup in the, um, the, the soft tissues of the throat and the airways. And so kids get issues with things like uh, ear infections, hearing loss, uh, sleep apnea. Um, and then there can be issues with heart valves. They get thick and leaky. Um, and enlarged liver and spleen, hernias, and finally, um, a lot of orthopedic problems. Um, there's buildup of gag in joints, and, and it causes kind of like a arthritis problem, and so there's stiff joints, painful joints. Um, they're not really well aligned. You can get like what are called knock knees or hip dysplasia, and so it's tough. There are a lot of different symptoms involved in MPS-1.